An important part of Clive's business are his valuation tours, where members of the public can bring along their own items to have them valued by Clive. From time to time, apprentices from the Antiques Academy are invited to join him and his team. Throughout this course, we'll follow two of them, Laura and Opal, as they join Clive, David and Royston, and learn what it's like to assess antiques in the real world. Nice to meet you, Colin. And, and you're Thanks for coming on today for you're three welcome. valuations. This okay. is Laura, my Hello, new Laura. assistant. Hi. Hello. Hope this is all right. Here we go. So what have we got here then? Right, it's, um, it was given to my mother about 1953, 54. Um, she was looking after some furniture for someone and she didn't want paying for it, so they gave her the clock. Oh. And it's been in the family ever since. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. And it, uh, when she died, it stopped working two months after. We put it out yesterday to bring here and it started ticking. Oh. And it just started ticking started again on the table again. a few minutes ago. Yeah. 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 Pretty scary stuff. Spooky. Spooky, spooky. stuff. Yeah. Maybe the energy yeah. must freestand. I know, I think so. Concentrating yeah. on the clock yeah. to work. Yeah. Yeah. Just come and see and make sure we don't um, have you over. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'll warns, tell you a lie. The yeah. spirits yeah. are watching. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you a lie. No, yeah. don't tell lies. My mother would be watching. Yeah, she'd be watching <laughs> us. Um, first of all, do you know the age of it? I believe it's around about the 1800s. Which in what term is the 1800s? What does that mean? 1880. 1890, something like that. That's probably about right, 1880s, 1890s. And what do you think? Yeah, I agree. And it's quite ornate in detail. I think it's Victorian, you can tell yeah. from the design. And yeah. they're made of onks as well, so. Made of? On onks. Onyx. Onyx. Oh, sorry. Onyx. 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 Yeah. Where does onyx come from? The ground. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a similar sort of, sort of thing to marble. I mean, it comes yes. from a place yeah. called Egypt. Most of the onyx in the world comes from Egypt. Oh, right. So, right. Uh, but it's not marble, it's a sort of poor man's... Um, if it was white marble, you'd probably look in a different sort of thing together. But it's, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. like a more poor man sort of substitute for marble. Um, can we spin it round, have a look at it? Yeah, if I can manage to lift it. Oh. There we go. Muscles. So when we look at this clock, what do we see, Colin? Um, well, you've got an ornate pattern all yeah. there, and one there, I think this something to do with a war, is it? It's probably a Trojan yeah. War or something, yeah. or something you know, it's sort of a yeah. copy of the sort of like the Roman the Roman yeah. Empire sort of it's betraying sort of like the ground tour. Right. Or sort right. of the okay. 1880s when the old English and the every European went to Italy, done a ground tour, yeah. picked up things. Yeah. This is probably sort of these columns here and relating to that sort of right. part of their okay. history. It's almost yeah. like a touristy piece. Mm. You know. So interesting fact here, this thing at the this wheel at the front clicking yeah. around. Yeah. It's called an escapement. Oh, right. OK. It's ticking like that. But most of these escapements are on the back of the clock. Oh, I see. Right. So I was told when I was a child, what's the reason to put that escapement in the front of the clock? No, no idea. I was told, if it was true or not, I don't know. Yeah. But I was told, if you were deaf, you wouldn't know the clock had stopped, would you? Oh, that's right. So you look yeah. now, if you're yeah. deaf, you're thinking, man, the clock's stopped. Yeah. But maybe I'm wrong. Just yeah. maybe a story I was told when I was yeah. a kid. Just well, to, it has just stopped. It's stopped now. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? It's escaping because it's yes, yeah. the clock here. Yeah. You know, that's, that's you know, because I think it's quite a nice idea, isn't it? Nice little, that's right, yes. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. on the value of clocks, if I may say, the most important thing about clocks is what? On the value of clocks? On whether the value of, what's the most the important escapement thing? is still turning, isn't no. it? No. Condition, if working doesn't really matter, but when you look at a clock, what do you see? The dial. So, right, the clock face, the dial. Yeah. So, what's. Whether they're still. What's wrong with that clock position? face? Or dial? It's no longer working. <laughs> no, it's wrong, you know, there's it's, it's a slight imperfection there. Oh, right. Oh, right, okay. the discoloration. Yeah. No, it's a crack. When somebody's put the key in, oh, turn the key, cracked, yeah. and they've cracked, yeah. the, cracked the dial. Oh, right. So, you know, to, yeah. it, it, straight away, on a clock with a cracked dial, the value is almost halved. Yeah. You know. Right. So. so we don't take now, haven't we? Don't buy clocks with cracked faces. Noted. Okay. So, is it something you want to think about evaluation or? Yes. Yeah, so, um, like well, the value of it? Yes, you could, please, yeah. I will say, sort of in our shop, we probably put a price tag on it with that cracked dial 
and they had about 75 pounds. Mm. So it's not a lot for what it is really, is it? No. Mm. You know, it's, no. it's mine, I'll probably keep it and yeah. just look at yeah. it as, a, as an ornament. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. But whatever you do, I will say, don't go and get it fixed. Right. Because the value okay. of fixing it probably will be two, three hundred pounds. Right. Okay. And the value of the clocks will be a lot less than that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So don't get it fixed. Okay. Well, maybe yeah. put a little bit of bleach in there. Yeah. Just to hide that crack yeah. up maybe. Yeah. Might do a bit of so you can look at it and enjoy it. Right, okay. Yeah. Come on, start okay. going again. Where's she go? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, no, I think it's the position that's on the table. If yeah. I kind of muscle man it around yes. again, we yeah. might get some life out of it, but yeah. It's a nice clock, it was the same. Yeah. So. Right, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Colin. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Colin. Thank you. All right.